At the new school, we believe creativity isn't a concept. It's a calling. It's what drives you out into the world to make the things that make a difference. At our schools, we teach creative problem solving by dissolving walls between academic disciplines so you can rigorously rethink everything. Together, we draw inspiration from human insight. We purposefully collaborate, try things over and over, and become invaluable to a world that doesn't exist yet. It's why our university is filled with journalists designing new media, playwrights creating tools for social good, designers collaborating with ethnographers and anthropologists, economists examining human interactions, musicians and media artists composing with light and space. Creativity in the right hands changes everything. Because it's not what you know, it's what you create with what you know. Make the future catch up to you. We do. The new school in New York City. Good morning, everyone. My name is Craig TD. I am the Senior Director for Recruitment and Outreach here at the New School. And on behalf of the nearly 200 faculty and staff, students and alumni who are here to welcome you to the New School, it is my pleasure to welcome you to New York City and a university that we're all quite proud to call our second home. Now, though we've had many presidents and presidential candidates on our campus, no one is dearer to our hearts than our own. So it's my great honor to introduce to you the eighth president of the New School to kick us off off David Van Zandt. Well, uh, thank you very much, Craig. It is great to see everybody here. Uh, I want to welcome everyone here who's in Tishman Auditorium. Uh, and to all of you from around the world, we have a whole number of people listening on live stream from 75 different, different countries. We're very, glad, uh, we're very glad you're here with, you, uh, with us today. You're going to have a chance to meet our deans, many of our faculty, some of our alumni and students as well, to hear about, uh, to hear about our, our graduate programs. And my role here is really just simply to welcome you and share my perspective um, a little bit on, on what differentiates, what makes the new school the place it really is. I, I do want to start out, though, of course, by just acknowledging and recognizing the events in Paris on Friday. They certainly have been sobering. Um, as you may know, we have a campus there. Uh, fortunately, excuse me, all of our students, faculty, and staff um, are accounted for. Uh, it's just a horrible event, and unfortunately, those kinds of events are no longer rare in the world. You know, we also face our own challenges here in the U.S., such as the violent treatment of young African American males um, in interactions with police. Sexual assault on college campuses is certainly a big issue, uh, and. Here at the New School, those events, while horrible, only make more important our commitment to, to tolerance, to engaging uh, with the current social issues in a, in a critical manner, and to the nonviolent uh, promotion of social justice. Uh, well, let's come back uh, to why we're here today. We're here today uh, to help you make a decision, and it's a very important decision about where to continue, continue your education. And I, first of all, I want to congratulate you. Um, it's a very smart thing to do is to look at postgraduate, uh, postgraduate education. Um, those sorts of degrees, master's degrees and doctoral degrees, are only becoming more important uh, in our economy and in our society uh, today. Uh, we all know of the tremendous changes going on out there in the economy and the society today. Today, we really have an innovation uh, creation e type of economy. And those who have the skills, the capabilities, have the education, um, to innovate, to solve problems very creatively are, are the ones uh, who are going to contribute the most, the ones who are going to get ahead. Uh, so it's very important to, to continue your education. Um, here at the New School, I think the, the character and culture um, of the academic community is, is a very important part and should be a very important part of your decision about where to attend graduate school. In fact, the culture is probably just as important um, as a particular academic program or, or the faculty in that program. And even at the graduate level, where arguably students are certainly much more focused, the university is the sum, the sum of its parts. And we want you to get a sense of that, uh, that culture and what the university uh, really is. The New School is unlike any university in the world you may be considering. We're organized, and we have been since our founding in 1919, around two different important core values. One is innovation, challenging the status quo, 
And the second is social engagement, engagement with the world uh, around you. We provide a design-inspired education. We focus here on the intersection of design and social sciences as a powerful tool to address and solve complex problems uh, under real-world constraints and to try to, make the world, uh, try to make the world a better place. As Craig will mention in a few minutes, we're the only university in the world with a large and top-ranked design school, Parsons, embedded in very strong social science at our new school for social research, as well as strong management capabilities and at Milano and our performing arts and our performing arts schools. And across all of the graduate programs at the new school, what we really look for in a candidate is someone with a great deal of creative talent and, most importantly, someone who wants to use that creativity and talent, develop that creativity and talent here to make a difference uh, in the world. We're seeking students uh, who, are, who have a hunger for the urban energy that's around us here, uh, who are open to interdisciplinary approaches and perspectives, who want to align their passions um, with the opportunities beyond the academy, and uh, who have the drive to apply scholarship and professional practice in ways that make a positive difference in lives, communities, and cities. The New School is an extraordinary place to study and, and prepare for the rapidly changing world I described early on. And here at the New School, in your graduate education, uh, you're, gonna, you're gonna receive a highly relevant, a combination of both the knowledge and skills uh, that it's going to take uh, to be successful out there. And so beyond the specific discipline you come to study, we try here to provide you with the capacity to work on multidisciplinary teams. We try to provide you with the ability to analyze vast, vast amounts of information and see patterns in that information. Uh, also, very important, is the ability to communicate in a sophisticated way across multiple platforms not just writing and speaking, but visually, um, auditorially, uh, in many different ways. In today's world, as we well know, you have to be able to work cross-culturally uh, on cross-cultural teams, uh, work in different environments uh, to be successful. And finally, but probably most important, you have to have resilience. Um, you have to understand the value of failure. Uh, it's part of the process here at the New School of testing ideas. It's not an end in of itself, but it's a way, in our project-based education, the way you, you improve. You throw stuff out. It's not going to work right the first time. You go back and revise it. You do it again. You do it again until it's iterative, until you get it, uh, until you get it to a, a place where it's, it's, it's really good. Well, I hope my uh, remarks have been helpful. Uh, I've tried to give you a personal sense of what is so great about our graduate programs here at the New School. You're going to hear a lot more in terms of detail, but maybe, maybe I've whetted your appetite. Let me now turn it over uh, to Professor Michael Schober. Michael is the former dean of the New School for Social Research, and he's currently the associate provost who oversees all of our research here at the university. Michael. Hi, everybody, and welcome. Really great to see you all here. Um, I am, it's true, I'm Associate Provost for Research. I'm also a professor in the psychology department and have been a professor here for, uh, since 1992, actually. Um, I am extremely enthusiastic about graduate education at this institution. It has been a uh, fascinating place to encounter people who think differently than I do and to work with graduate students and faculty collaborators who think in ways that challenge my thinking all over the place. Uh, I have found more people here who aren't satisfied with an easy answer than I have seen in lots of other places. And I am regularly pressed to think harder, to think deeper, to come up with an idea that nobody has ever had before. And it's been a huge pleasure uh, to, to be there. I can't give a master narrative about what it's going to be like in every program and every discipline because they're all different and um, there are so many different aspirations people come here for, but I do think there is a general dissatisfaction with two easy explanations here that, um, and there's real support for exploring what hasn't yet been uh, fully understood in, in new ways. So I have, um, in my own research, really benefited from being able to work with students who come from a huge variety of backgrounds and bring their own questions and starting assumptions to me. Uh, so uh, in my lab, we've had lots of fun coming up with new ways of studying, 
how people lurk versus read in social media sites and what lurking does to you mentally that's different from if you post and versus don't post. I've had great fun working with collaborators on trying to understand how people are willing to disclose sensitive information in text messaging as opposed to on the phone and in situations where where somebody's answering a survey question that leads to major social statistics that affect how the whole world runs. Uh, so really consequential moments of interaction. Um, these are just little things that happen in my lab uh, that I am intrigued by and have lots of fun with. Uh, but I think across faculty, you'll see one person after another and one team after another of graduate students working with faculty who are doing something different and new. And so that is the, the main point I want to make about this place is how much it supports that, how much you end up encountering people who think differently than you in um, both structured and unstructured ways. Um, I've had a great pleasure of teaching um, an undergrad course called Collaborating in and Beyond Music in which um, uh, I have gotten to work with graduate student teaching assistants who come from lots of different fields. Psychology, of course, because that's my field and department, but also uh, transdisciplinary design and Manus Performing Arts students and media studies students. And having the kinds of conversations that emerge from bringing together those students who come from such different perspectives has been just endlessly stimulating and has led to really exciting teaching for the, for the undergrads and really um, endlessly stimulating thought for me. So um, I think there's an enormous pleasure in being around people who think differently. It's also really challenging. Uh, it's not, it, in some ways, it's the, the, the easier thing to do is to be around people who think just like you. And the new school has just the right size that you will encounter people who think differently than you do uh, in ways that are sometimes maddening and um, really interesting. Uh, but I can say I have personally benefited enormously from it, and if you come here, I think it's one of the things that you will experience, is that you will be pressed to think differently and to s encounter people who really are different from you on lots of fronts, and I think that's a really ben great benefit of being here. So I'm happy to answer questions afterwards for anybody who has about the psychology department in particular or about the New School for Social Research and what the particular opportunities are. Uh, but in general, it's great to have you here and I'm delighted that you are considering the New School as a place where you continue the journey from being a consumer to being a producer of knowledge, of creative work, of all those other things that happen in graduate school. It's terrific you're thinking of the New School as the place for that, so thank you. So for those of you who came in after we started, I will repeat, my name is Craig Teedy. I am the Senior Director for Recruitment and Outreach here at the university, and it is now my pleasure to tell you a little bit about my second home. It was the Italian poet and novelist, Cesar Pavetzi, who said, we don't remember days, we remember moments. Now, I'm sure you've all seen people like me presenting information about a university that they claim is certain to be a great fit for you. You probably remember those presentations at this point more as a blur of similar sounding talking points with similar looking images and similarly structured academic programs. But whether this is your first college presentation, which obviously for this room is probably not so, or your 50th, probably closer to the truth, but you have my blessing if that's true. I promise the similarities end here. This is a moment you'll remember. Our university was founded in New York City a century ago by visionary dissidents frustrated by the intellectual timidity of the status quo. In 1896, American Impressionist William Merritt Chase founded Parsons School of Design by leading a group of progressives to secede from the Art Students League of New York in search of more individualistic expression. Under the leadership of Frank Parsons, the school then created groundbreaking programs linking art and design with industry. In 1919, liberal arts professors and social scientists from top universities moved downtown to create the New School for Social Research, a new kind of academic institution where faculty and students would be free to honestly address and directly face the problems approaching the 20th century. 
coming from different disciplines, but a very similar philosophy and drive. These visionaries founded our schools to improve society through active questioning, debate, discussion, and creation. Now together, we're quite the force to be reckoned with. And today, we're still very much redefining education. The new school is the only major university with a world-class design school, Parsons, at its core, integrated with a progressive liberal arts college, prestigious graduate schools, and renowned performing arts. We infuse design thinking throughout the entire educational experience and encourage collaboration between all our fields of study. It is this unique approach to education that allows us to study issues of our time, such as democracy, urbanization, technological change, economic empowerment, sustainability, migration, and globalization from fresh angles that lead to innovative solutions. So you might be asking yourselves, what kind of student is right for a place this extraordinary? And the answer is those who aren't afraid of new thinking and new ideas, those who are intellectually curious and tenacious when it comes to their pursuits, those who want to dig deep and understand substantial academic scholarship, those who want to harness their creativity to make the world a better place, and those who want to reinvent what is already out there in a place that is now becoming quite the dynamic age defined by innovation. The new school, therefore, is ideal for courageous students willing to be a force of new. And here are just some of the footsteps you'd be walking in as new school students. Marlon Brando, Harry Belafonte, Eleanor Roosevelt, James Baldwin, Jack Kerouac, and countless others. And they were taught by some of the finest minds of the 20th century. In 1948, W.B. Du Bois taught the first course in African American history and culture ever taught at a university right here. The New School also became internationally known for courses in the creative arts, taught by the likes of composer and theorist John Cage, dancer and choreographer Martha Graham, and around the same time, legendary pioneer Margaret Mead taught courses here in anthropology. The New School has evolved continuously throughout the years in response to changes in the world. We have stayed true to our legacy of innovative thinking, and our community members are still very much leading the way in 2015. Robert Wong, Chief Creative Officer of Google's lab, heads creative development of their in-house agency and designs solutions for, arguably, one of the world's most innovative companies. Letitia Rucolo and other performing arts alumni flipped an industry on its head when the New York City Opera closed for a season and has now grown an entirely new opera audience with her fresh take on the experience with Brooklyn's Loft Opera. And Laura Poitras, a filmmaker, journalist, and artist, won the 2014 Academy Award for her documentary, Citizen Four, about the work of Edward Snowden. What brings our more than 10,000 students together is a shared desire for the new, the experimental, the innovative, and the courageous. Our students are able to go out into the world to reinvent what's already out there and become a force of new because of our design-inspired approach to learning. The New School's unique approach to education is true to our legacy of innovation. Career trajectories, as I'm sure you know, are no longer cookie cutter, so education cannot be either. Our academic experience is integrated and personalized with project-based learning at the forefront so that you learn by doing what you love. You'll collaborate on real-world projects by partnering with local organizations and companies to tackle relevant urban and industry issues. No matter what area of study you pursue, you will discover a unique form of creative problem solving that will forever change the way you investigate and create. You'll learn to understand the human need of any problem and solve real world applications. Relentlessly question convention. Infuse design thinking throughout all of our programs. You'll learn to collaborate and learn across disciplines through rigorous coursework and intellectual exploration taking risks along the way in unexpected ways. Our world increasingly puts a premium on innovative ideas, so it's important that we all understand how to solve problems in novel contexts. In order to get ahead today, you have to be prepared to design creative solutions. And for the right type of student, the New School's programs provide many paths for unlocking your potential and succeeding in creating the type of future you want to live in. 
The new school offers the nation's most distinguished graduate programs in art and design, the performing arts, media and communications, creative writing, humanities and the social sciences, professional management and public policy, and international affairs. Integrating the new school's tradition of combining in-class and in-the-field work, each of our programs guides graduate students through an exciting and challenging course of study, headed by a faculty of artists, scholars, and professionals who practice what they teach. No matter what your area of study, you are encouraged to collaborate with other students across the entire university, where all of our curriculum is steeped in design philosophy with a strong grounding in social research. As the only renowned design school that is part of a comprehensive university, Parsons School of Design offers an unparalleled education dedicated to creativity, innovation, and experimentation that enacts positive change in our world. Students at Parsons are enabled to develop the knowledge and skills needed to make an impact and succeed through collaboration with peers, industry partners, and communities all across the world. Our faculty are drawn from working professionals and international study opportunities augment all Parsons programs. There are opportunities to collaborate on projects across a wide range of disciplines to work with policymakers, social scientists, musicians, performance artists, and more. In fact, Parsons was recently named the number one art and design school in the country. Parsons is always evolving its curriculum to give you the strongest start possible. Here, you will experiment with how new media platforms and technologies are transforming art and design as we know it. You'll expand the art and design fields beyond their traditional boundaries through interdisciplinary collaboration and exchange. You'll explore multiple sites and scales of engagement, developing socially and environmentally sustainable products, garments, interiors, buildings, and urban habitats. Programs here are structured to support and extend your communities of practice and to allow you to expand fields beyond traditional boundaries through interdisciplinary collaboration and exchange. There is a robust research culture at Parsons, a network of experimental design laboratories and institutes that allow students to collaborate with faculty and peers from Parsons and other new school graduate programs, connecting with external partners and exploring the unique learning opportunities outside of the classroom. At Parsons, you will develop your capacities for high-level critical analysis, research, and presentation, learning to articulate design as a process for strategically transforming the way we live in the 20th century. You don't learn how to design physical things, but systems, services, and networks, how to strategically bring together coalitions of people across different industries and disciplines to generate creative responses to complex problems, and our ability to bridge design with business and management expertise will give you a leg up when you graduate because you'll be uniquely prepared to assume entrepreneurial and leadership positions within a range of fields. Located within the vibrant creative economy of Paris, Parsons Paris offers extraordinary educational, cultural, and professional opportunities for the growing number of students who seek a range of experience in art, design, media, technology, and culture. Graduate programs are taught in English and guided by a faculty of professionals from around the world. Students use the city of Paris as a laboratory, collaborating on creative projects and exploring the many ways to apply art and design to the challenges of urban life. Parsons provides MFA, MA, and MS degrees across a wide range of design specialties. Architecture, architecture plus lighting design, data visualization, design and technology, design and urban ecologies, design studies, fashion design and society, fashion studies, fine arts, history of design and curatorial studies, industrial design, interior design, lighting design, photography, strategic design and management, theories of urban practice, and transdisciplinary design. You will find out more about all of these specific programs at the Parsons breakout sessions later this morning. The New School for Social Research is rooted in a legacy of theoretically informed, historically grounded scholarship. The school's dedication to academic freedom and intellectual inquiry reaches back to the university's founding in 1919 as a home for progressive thinkers and the creation of the university in exile in 1933 for scholars persecuted in Nazi Europe. We offer rigorous graduate programs in the social sciences and humanities that go well beyond mainstream thought. 
This school is home to world-renowned scholars, practitioners, and innovators who open minds and doors to civically engaged inquiry and opportunities. The New School for Social Research offers MA and PhD degrees in anthropology, creative publishing and critical journalism, economics, global political economy and finance, historical studies, liberal studies, philosophy, politics, psychology, and sociology. Again, you will find out more about these specific programs at the New School for Social Research breakout sessions later this morning. The New School has also always been a mecca for performing arts. Today, our College of Performing Arts transcends the boundaries of a typical conservatory education in that students use their artistry to alter the way music and drama can positively impact the world. Through majors, minors, electives, all students can study with master faculty and practitioners at the tops of their fields, only found here in New York City. The College of Performing Arts houses three schools that collaborate through various programs and events, two of which have graduate programs, the School of Drama and Manus School of Music. The MFA program in Dramatic Arts at the School of Drama prepares students to be 21st century artists and creative thinkers. Through studio classes, performance opportunities, and coursework in aesthetic inquiry, the history of theater, and research, students cultivate the intellectual, conceptual, and critical skills needed to launch careers in theater or any field that requires creativity, collaboration, critical thinking, and effective communications. The program's interdisciplinary, project-based curriculum enables students to explore acting, directing, playwriting, creative technologies, liberal arts, applied research, and collaborative processes guided by a faculty of working professionals from New York City's theater community. Being housed within the College of Performing Arts allows drama students to collaborate on exciting projects with classical musicians and jazz students. Founded in 1916, Manus School of Music seeks to develop citizen artists who engage with the world around them and through music in traditional, new, and emergent forms of practice. Our eminent faculty of artists, scholars, and educators of international stature, including active professionals from all areas of the music world, foster close, constructive relationships with students and are committed to advancing the creative role of music throughout all aspects of our rapidly changing society. Manus is a community of compassionate students and musicians who encourage collaboration rather than competition and professional development rather than personal pressure. Faculty include many celebrated concert artists, chamber musicians, and composers. Manus is small and selective, limiting degree enrollment to approximately 330 students, making it the smallest in New York City. Our classical music students are encouraged to collaborate with other programs within the College of Performing Arts and across the university to bring dynamism to their educational experience. Students within the College of Performing Arts can pursue MFA or MA degrees in acting, classical guitar, collaborative piano, composition, directing, harpsichord, orchestral conducting, orchestral instruments, piano, playwriting, theory, and voice. The Milano School programs engage students in addressing big social, economic, environmental, and political problems in real time. Our innovative and interdisciplinary curriculum brings together an extraordinary faculty and motivated students who want to facilitate social change through project-based field work. The Milano School offers MA, MS, and PhD degrees in environmental policy and sustainability management, international affairs, nonprofit management, organizational change management, urban policy analysis and management, and public and urban policy. At the New School School of Media Studies, the life and work experience you bring to the classroom matters, and the real world experience you'll gain in media making, critical analysis and reflection, entrepreneurialism and management matters to your future employers and collaborators as well. The social impact of mass communication has been studied at the New School since its founding in 1919. It was the first college course to investigate the motion picture that was offered here at the New School in 1926. Studies carefully balance theory and practice so that our students are fully engaged with current media scholarship, as well as the latest tools of media production and management. MFA creative writing students develop their craft in workshops and literature seminars led by an internationally recognized faculty with close ties to New York publishing and the city's literary scene. 
Courses and events are held in the evening, enabling students to work during the day while in the program. And this two-year full-time graduate program offers concentrations in fiction, nonfiction, poetry, and writing for children and young adults. The New School's Master of Arts program in teaching English to speakers of other languages offers professional teacher training with a focus on social action and addressing the needs of adult students. Because teachers learn best by working in the classroom, the New School's 30 credit graduate program in TESOL connects theory to hands-on practice in your area of specialization, teaching or curriculum development, with guidance from an international faculty. Now that I've introduced all of the schools and graduate programs, I want you to know we pride ourselves here at the New School for hosting some of the most interesting courses within higher education. This is just an example of some from which you'd be able to select as graduate students. And if you visit us online, you'll be able to see all of our current offerings. On top of our traditional graduate degree offerings, we also offer many non-traditional routes of study. For instance, all of our graduate level schools offer professional training via certificate programs that provide more accessible educational opportunities in things such as Parsons Business of Design, the New School of Social Research's Gender and Sexuality Studies, Milano's Leadership and Change, Organization Development and Sustainability Strategy Certificates, and the School of Media Studies, Media Management, or Documentary Media Studies Certificates. We also offer Parsons AAS degrees geared toward working professionals ready to make the leap into the design fields of graphic design, interior design, fashion design, or fashion marketing. Or our undergraduate degree programs specifically designed for adults and transfer students seeking an alternative to the traditional four-year college experience. No matter what course of study you choose to take on, you will have intimate access to our world-class faculty. Despite our size, we maintain a university-wide student-to-faculty ratio of 9 to 1. The average class size here is 12, not 100. Our faculty are not just teachers. They are still engaged in their respective fields and are progressive leaders in their own right. And top faculty teach across both graduate and undergraduate courses. In fact, we've also been named number one for offering small class sizes university-wide. In addition to traditional study on either our New York City or Paris campuses, we have many service-oriented global opportunities and options as well. They can be explored through our exciting international research projects, fellowships, and partnership programs. Last year, New School students brought their convention-challenging creativity to more than 900 different companies through internships across the city. A few examples of current and past internships include the United Nations, Marc Jacobs, HBO, MTV, The New York Times, The New Yorker, Rolling Stone, and the Museum of Modern Art. In conjunction with opportunities to intern and partner with diverse organizations, you'll also become part of a diverse community here on campus. The new school, as I said earlier, is home to more than 10,000 total students, representing all 50 US states and 118 foreign countries. Our international student population comprises one-third of our total student body. And in fact, that makes us number one yet again as the most international university in this country. People flock from all over the world to study at the New School's New York campus here in historic Greenwich Village. And our state-of-the-art facilities are growing every day. Here are just a few of the creative resources and newest additions. We offer model, fabrication, and print shops across our many state-of-the-art making centers, 3D prototyping and imaging labs, more than 4,000 square footage of exhibition space, and performance space that ranks among the largest in Lower Manhattan. We also have computer labs with 600 plus workstations and comprehensive libraries that support the New School's interdisciplinary approach to education and all offer an excellent starting place for your research. The New School is also actively dedicated toward increasing our sustainability across campus. In fact, we are also number one in sustainable building for our new university center, which we're all in now, here in downtown Manhattan. Many say that New York City is a place where every creative person should call home at some point in their lives, and we're asking you now, why not start today? We are not just in New York City, like some other universities, but we are actively of New York City. We choose to occupy the city differently, both using it as a learning ground and as a place to actively give back to the communities that comprise the city. 
with New York as an extension of our campus. We can work directly with leaders across performing arts, design, and social research fields, partnering with organizations like the United Nations and World Bank on real world projects. New York is, of course, one of the world's greatest cultural centers and provides a living experience like no other, with inspiration found on every street corner and rooftop. And our community is also actively involved in the interests of New York. When the Climate March, for example, needed a home, the new school opened its doors, minds, and hearts to the cause. We encourage all of our students to become involved in movements that inspire them. The new school also hosts more than 1,300 public programs annually, where you can hear from Nobel laureates, Oscar winners, political leaders, or fashion magnates. And from informal clubs to student unions, art shows to film festivals, there are also hundreds of opportunities outside the classroom and off campus. Organizations on campus include the Student Film Collective, Association for International Development, Students for Social Justice, Students of the African Diaspora, and many, many more. Our Department of Athletics and Recreation offers varsity athletics, group fitness classes, outdoor adventure activities, and organized team sports. And in the event that you've not yet made his acquaintance, I would like you to meet our mascot, Narls the Narwhal. Our entire university is dedicated to supportive student services that will help lead you to success. Our advising department works with you to help you explore opportunities, make informed decisions, and create an academic plan to prepare you for your future career. You'll have access to help with resumes, interviewing skills, and placements, annual career fairs with hundreds of local and global employers ready to network and review student work, and community access to a digital database of top employers actively seeking new hires from the new school. Our student services team offers support at every level, including helping to navigate the process of moving to New York and ensuring the safety, well-being, and development of all its students. The new school has four residence halls on campus, all within walking distance from our central academic quad on 13th Street and 5th Avenue. All new students are guaranteed housing in the new school residences if you are full-time and have paid your deposits and fees by the deadline. Of course, tuition varies from program to program, but overall at the university averages about $40,000 per year. To help you to defray those costs, we offer both need and merit-based scholarships. 87% of our students receive some form of financial aid, and you can certainly visit us online to learn more. There will also be representatives from our Student Financial Services Office at the Resource Fair in the Event Cafe in the lower level where you all checked in this morning if you'd like to get some individual questions of that ilk asked and answered. New School alumni go on to extraordinary careers across the globe and make impacts on their communities. Because of our unique recipe for education, meaning design-inspired project-based learning, an interdisciplinary approach, and a commitment to social justice, our students tend to go on to be entrepreneurial thought leaders in their fields. Plus, they are creating and defining budding industries that are only now just beginning to emerge. The new school provides access to a lifelong network of talented and innovative minds, Faculty, alumni, advisors, and fellow students are actively engaged in their respective fields and can help link you to opportunities throughout the city and beyond. Of course, since our students are quite different, our admission requirements are not one size fits all. They are reviewed holistically and reflect the program you are entering. They allow and encourage you, actually, to be as unique and diverse as the people who come here. All applicants to graduate programs and certificates apply via the new school's online application, and our fall priority deadline for most graduate applications is January 15th. From our inception, we've been an innovative, experimental institution of higher education focused on designing solutions for a better world. I want you to immerse yourself today in this new school experience. If you do, I believe you'll find a vibrant energy that inspires passion and camaraderie with both like-minded and diverse communities, and of course, as I mentioned earlier, a memorable experience like no other. We are looking for students with an extra dose of fearless creativity, those who want to shake up old ideas and be on the cutting edge of new ones. And all of this really leads me to an essential truth. If you function best in an academic environment that is very much a bastion of creativity and intellectual investigation, chances are pretty good you have found the school for you. Because we are the best fit for the kinds of students who are ready to unlock their own innate creative and intellectual potentials and be forces of new thinking, new technology, new design, and new vision. 
Are you ready to challenge convention? Because the next two years or four years are going to challenge you. And in a way that will hopefully help you to go out and change the world. Your moment is here, and I am happy to welcome you to your future. I don't want you to take my word for it, though. We have with us this morning a current student and three alumni who not very long ago were sitting exactly where you were, just beginning to imagine a future they hadn't yet written. And we've invited them back here today to tell you how the new school gave them the tools, connections, and opportunities to be forces of new. And at this point, I'd like to invite the four of them to come forward. Um, hi, my name is Molly Johnson. I graduated in May with an MS in Environmental Policy and Sustainability Management from our Milano School. Um, and I'm gonna start with a little bit of a nerdy story. Um, I just finished a book on how humanity has changed the planet so much that we're entering a new geological era and we've caused essentially the sixth mass extinction in the history of the planet. Um, I'm a nerd. And so there's this really great quote in the seventh chapter. It's about um, invasive species, which are plants and animals that humans have introduced to a new place on the planet that have then like just really dramatically disrupted these new eco ecosystems. And it's talking about a brown tree snake that has essentially eaten all of the birds in Guam. Um, and the author makes this point that the brown snakes are not like bad individuals, but that they've actually done the same things humans have done. They have, and this is the quote here, they have succeeded extravagantly at the expense of others. And I read that quote and I was sitting on a train and I went, whoa. We've done that to ourselves, too. And then I went, oh my gosh, I'm such a new schooler. I just thought that. Um, and so here's what I mean, is that at Milano and at the new school, there's this really strong social justice bent to almost anything that you're going to learn. So as I was sitting in class learning about environmental issues, there was always the point being made that any environmental issue is also a social justice issue. The people on the planet who are suffering the most from contaminated waters and air and from you know, the huge weather events that we're seeing as a result of changing climate are the ones who have contributed the least, are people of color, they're people living in poverty. And so we've got this, this nexus of humans who are succeeding extravagantly living in mansions and polluting the world and other humans who are paying the price. And so what I drew from this book was that everything that I was reading about how we're also wiping animals off the face of the planet was that we're hurting ourselves at the same time. And, and that's what the New School taught me to think. That's how the New School taught me to think, was to make that connection. My book doesn't talk about people at all. It's just these species that are going extinct. Um, and that's what's exciting about being here. While I was here, I got to work on projects that were about post-Sandy resiliency um, in Staten Island, building um, community gardens. I got to work on projects about using cutting edge vertical farming technology to bring um, food security to the whole world. Um, so it was never just environment. It was never learn how to be a tree hugging hippie. It was learn how to help people be a human rights activist through an environmental lens. Um, and now I'm proud to keep calling the new school my second home. I am the sustainability associate at our Tishman Environment and Design Center, where we are constantly trying to bring this design perspective and an interdisciplinary collaborative approach to environmental issues. Um, so I will also be at the resource fair, and if anybody wants to talk about that, even if you're not studying environment, it's my job to help you see how you really are. So thanks. <laughs> I think that's, that's me next, right? You can hear me? All right. Hi, I'm Sam Byron. Um, I am a performing arts admissions counselor with uh, the College of Performing Arts, but also I am a, a graduate of the MFA Playwriting Program uh, in the School of Drama 2014. Um, I, uh, I've been uh, out of school now, I guess, since then, obviously. And uh, I had uh, two productions this year. I was the playwright in residence for Stella Adler Studio. I've been busy. 
Um, so that things have been good, um, but I was sort of at a loss at first to try and come up with uh, a way to make it sound like I was some kind of a, the, you know, the wording is the force of new, right? And the, the field that I'm in is effectively 4,000 years old, so that was kind of hard at first. Um, but it, it sort of came down to two things. One, um, I feel like the idea behind any kind of creative pursuit it's, is generally project-based. So every time I start a new project, um, whether it's collaborating or working on a script on my own, it's a chance to use the skills that I've been given, both you know through just a, a life of working in the theater as well as definitely in the MFA program here, um, to try and investigate something new about the life I'm personally leading, about the world that I lead it in, and the people that are around me as I lead it. Um, and the other thing that I sort of realized, and this is just recently, I, uh, I finished my last production uh, this past September, so it's been about two months of just sort of uh, hanging out and trying to figure out what happens next. And at first, I, was, uh, I had a really hard time trying to come up with that, and uh, have recently, uh, it's led to the beginning of a lot of really exciting different things in a lot of different areas. And so I think the other thing that being a force of new sort of did for me, and I know that that's sort of the term, but uh, it's, it's made me really uncomfortable with the vacuum. Um, I don't do well without, with not having something to do. Um, and so, you know, as a result of that, through my training and through just being a part of this community, I have, you know, I've begun, uh, you know, I'm working on a screenplay, I'm working on a TV show, I've started a new play, because that's what I really do. Um, but even uh, coming up with uh, ways, you know, I'm, I'm in the very beginning stages of possibly developing software that uh, will help to make the production process for TV, film, and uh, theater uh, paperless, you know, uh, at the very beginning stages. But, you know, just the fact that I have these kinds of ideas and have some kind of sense of the kinds of people I need to talk to and work with, um, to me felt very much a product of this community because, you know, five years ago I wouldn't have even known who to contact about something like that and now I feel like I have the tools to pursue that and the uh, collaborative language to sort of admit where my gaps are and fill them with the people that I know through the new school and through other things, just understanding how to collaborate and put something together. So that's what I would say is the new school, you know, like in a, in a nutshell, that sort of experience. But yeah, that's it. Hi, I'm Sarah McRoy. I am a practicing lighting designer here in the city and have a degree in MFA of interior design and lighting design from Parsons. Um, so I guess I just want to tell you a little bit about how I came to Parsons, my experience, and how I take that back into my pra everyday practice. So I actually didn't come to design with a design background. I came from a liberal arts background. I studied uh, critical theory as an undergrad. So my first encounter with the new school was not Parsons. It was actually the school in exile. So learning about the Frankfurt School and understanding that the new school is actually this node, this place in the city that was trying to rethink social, sh social structures. So when I came to design, I kind of become disenchanted with academia and the ivory towers, but I saw that the new school was doing something different, and there was a connection between society and design that I found kind of unique at this university. So that's where I came in, and I thought the interiors and lighting were these amazing opportunities to help not change the world, but change someone's world. So that's why I came to Parsons. And at Parsons, I was delighted to find that the School of Constructed Environments doesn't only preach multidisciplinary approach. They have an open studio where architecture, interior design, lighting design come together in studio spaces and work together to try to rethink and engage in design spaces. So that was really exciting. But not only that, I was able to take classes outside of the School of Constructed Environments. I took urban design classes, I took anthropology classes, which all helped and infused my, my projects inside the School of Constructed Environments. And so as I go out, I graduated in 2014. I'm actually now a faculty member here at Parsons as well. But as I go out and face the existing kind of paradigms of design, I feel like Parsons has, has given me the tools to Try to, try to change 
the design environment, those interstitial moments. So it becomes this, this process of trying to change the world or someone's world through the inside out. And that was something that I learned here and I try to take with me as I practice design. Thank you, Sarah. Um, I'm Catherine Powell. I am a current student, so if all goes well. I'm confident I will graduate in uh, April 2016 with an MA in History of Design and Curatorial Studies. Um, listening to Craig earlier um, speak a lot about diversity and the integration between theory and practice, it really reminded me how this is the world that I live in every day. Um, our program, uh, my class is only 15 students, um, so and the incoming class is, I think, 25. So we're a very small group, but the most wonderful thing about it is that everybody comes from a different background. Um, I, had look at other, I had looked at other programs, uh, perhaps an MA in history of art or um, just history, and what's different is that at Parsons, not everybody has a degree in the history of art. So my classmates have degrees in archaeology, economics, um, they are architects, they are graphic designer, and all of us bring together such interesting new ways to think about um, what we go through. So when we sit through a survey class and start from the Renaissance and go all the way to postmodernism, everybody has a different perspective, and I found that to be so rewarding. And the other thing is that um, the Parsons School of Design, specifically our program, is really closely linked with the Cooper Hewitt Smithsonian Design Museum. And that reopened last year. It gave the students really an opportunity to be hands-on, to work with the curators for the reopening. And I'm really fortunate to have a fellowship in the product design and decorative arts um, department at the museum, which means that I get to work with one of the world's uh, leading curators in product design and I sit there and she tells me, okay, this is the direction that our collection should take. I need your help in researching or in putting together a proposal for the board of trustees. So that balance between the theory and the practice has really uh, made me think about what it is that I can do um, next year and that's got me really energized. This could be you. Thank you very much. So before we break for the rest of the day, I just want to give you some logistical information about how um, the rest of the day is going to go. Um, we have a pretty exciting day planned for you. The event runs until 3 o'clock today, and we really do want you to explore all of your graduate programs of interest and our campus so that you can really get a full sense before you leave of what it is that we offer in terms of connection to faculty, opportunities that exist post-graduation, and our home right here in Greenwich Village. But I do need to do a couple of housekeeping things so that everybody understands what we have offered today. Um, starting immediately after this session, downstairs in the event cafe, which as I said, is where you checked in and registered earlier this morning, you will have access to student services staff who will have staffed a resource fair, including some of the alumni who just spoke. So if you'd like to have some individual conversations with those folks, you can do that at any point before 3 p.m. today. Also in the lower level, beginning at 1 o'clock, you'll have the opportunity to mix and mingle with all the other students, prospective students who are here, current students, alumni, staff, faculty, everybody who's kind of here for the day, um, and enjoy a, a little light repast. So if you get there early, you'll have the best pick of food. Um, and that will be from 1 to 3 p.m. in the Star Foundation Lounge, which is at the base of the stairway, immediately to your right in the lower level. What we're going to do now, however, is break you into program sessions based on your immediate program of interest. Um, so you'll spend probably the next hour to hour and a half with faculty and folks from your particular school and program. So if you just listen closely, I'll let you know where you'll be headed to next. So those of you who are here for Parsons School of Design graduate programs, you're gonna stay right here in the Tishman Auditorium. You're likely our largest group this morning, and we wanna make sure that you have lots of space. You'll first be addressed by the Executive Dean of Parsons School of Design, Joel Towers, and then Courtney Millenius, who's the Director of Graduate Admission at Parsons, will help 
let you know where your individual program breakout sessions will take place. If you're here for the School of Media Studies, your first location will be on the fifth floor of this building. Room 502, 503, that's actually a combined room, so you can enter either door. You'll get an introduction and welcome to Media Studies, and then breakout by program. For the creative writing folks, you will go up to the second floor of this building, which is actually right just at the top of this auditorium. So if you'd like to go out these main doors, you can either take the steps upstairs immediately outside, or the steps will lead you up here. You'll be going to room 204. For Milano, you're going to be going downstairs into the lower level, but instead of taking a right to the Star Foundation, you'll be taking a left through the event cafe to room L102, and that's where you'll have your introduction and breakout. For teaching English to students of other languages, you will be going up to the second floor as well, to room 205. And last but certainly not least, NSSR will be in that room that's right up there, room 200. For those of you that are here for the performing arts, for drama or for Manus, I'm gonna ask Sam, who was one of our alumni speakers, to meet you over by that door. You will first be going on tours of those particular facilities for Manus and drama. Manus folks will be staying with Sam. Drama folks will be going with Sherry Barber, who's our senior um, admission counselor for drama. One other note that I wanna share with you is that we, in lieu of having a full campus tour for all of you folks, I've identified a couple places that we call hot spots, areas that we think might be visually and informationally interesting for you to visit at some point during your free portions today. At each of those hotspots, you will find a Welcome Center staff member who will greet you, be able to show you the space, and answer whatever questions you might have related to it. You will see located throughout the building today um, some information about where those hotspots are located and a map for how to find them. The one last bit of information I want to share with you that hopefully was shared with you at registration this morning is that as part of our sustainability efforts, rather than printing out a 20-page schedule of all the things that I just reviewed, we have uploaded all of this to an app, which is Whova, H or W-H-O-V-A. If you log on to that app, download it to your mobile device, and use the passcode GRAD, G-R-A-D-1-5, that will give you access to everything I just talked about on our entire full schedule and all of our presenters throughout the day. And I certainly encourage you to tweet about your experience today, to take photos of things that you see and people that you meet, and to upload them through the app so that we can continue to connect with each other throughout the course of the day. If you have any remaining questions as the rest of your time with us goes on, just look for any of the staff that are wearing the red event staff shirts, and they'll be able to help direct you. So once again, Parsons folks, you're staying here in this room. Everybody else, either look for Sam by that door if you're a performing arts person, or head to the room that I just indicated. Thanks so much, and enjoy your day at the new school.